What's up, guys? This is the worst gamers doing the worst two hours and tell me why, where we play two hours of a video game and then give you guys our impressions on it uh, if we think it's worth if it was worth our two hours and if we're going to come back to it. So and to, and to be clear, the game is called Tell Me Why. Yeah, the game's called Tell Me Why. Not we the we re- series is we called review it. The series <laughs> we review it and you tell me why we reviewed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we picked a bad game to do this for the first time. (laughs) This is very confusing. Scratch the footage. We're done. (laughs) Cut it. Cut it. We're out. We're done. We'll try another one. Uh, This is our Halo 3 review. (laughs) No one can mistake that one. Where am I? I'm I'm at home. So this would be Um, roughly at the two hour mark. Let's just go to a private call. You're right. I mean, I'm I'm sorry. (laughs) I'd like to personally apologize. I'd like to personally apologize for my behavior. Now we're on a private call. Let me share my screen. <laughs> okay. All right. So whatever this tells you, this is roughly at two hours. Like I cut it right after this cutscene was over. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of Let me pop out. You popping out, dude? After that, co- oh, I got farther than you. Did you really? Uh, let me show you where I ended. Here's my screenshot. Uh, <clears throat> boom, upload. Where'd you send it? Oh, in our private chat. Oh shit! Police department, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So I did go a little bit longer than I think. I went like two hours and sixteen minutes. Oh, I, I would have made it there to sixteen, dude. I was just doing the series called Two Hours, man. I really think you broke the rule. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. Where are you still sharing? No, I'm not what sharing. What the heck? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, now I can't see where you were. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You but want me to reshare? It sounded like so you just got to the gas station. Uh, no. So I was at the convenience store, gas station, whatever, and um, they had just. It was like the end of all the little cutscenes where they're like talk asking about their mom, and then mm-hmm. and then they go and accuse her. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And they go talk to Tom okay. and they get the, the CD and the CD brings back a whole bunch of memories. I cut right after the CD was playing. Okay. Yeah. that That's roughly where I would have been at two hours. I just had to see it through. I, I figured I'd see it through. Dude, I wanted to see it through so bad at two hours. Like the timer went off and the cutscene ended. And I was like, sorry, guys. We said we we're going to stop right here. <laughs> and like <laughs> like um, the sister is still talking to me she's like or no i'm playing as a sister the brother is talking to me and i'm like she's he's like halfway through a sentence i was like fucking i already pieced out closed the game <laughs> he just ignored his ass um oh well, next time i'll just cut it we'll i'll just hard cut it but i i felt like hey maybe this is five more minutes or something and uh it ended up being a lot more and i and i saw it through it it was probably 15 to 20 minutes longer because uh basically what happens is she you you have to accuse her and you have to like find evidence against her and all this stuff and yeah every time you're like about to accuse her the uh the sibling will be like are you sure we have everything we need and you're like well i guess fucking not like i won't (laughs) accuse you and you just keep searching yeah and that's probably why that's kind of why i I hard stop because i know those kind of games it's like (laughs) five more minutes is really just another 45 minutes um but i really liked i really got into it there at the end the the very start of it the very first cutscene definitely was like what the fuck like it it definitely hooked me um and then i sat on a ferry for like 10 minutes and i was like why am i playing this game again uh, the fairy thing <laughs> took a little longer seeing as i didn't know the characters at the time like i really didn't know that much about them yeah uh but yeah after i actually got moving and got to playing i found um the little collectibles i found two little goblin collectibles and then i found a collectible for whatever the the bad guy in their stories were and that was the collectible side of it for me for some reason really sparked my interest I think that's probably why you made it so much further than me was every room I went into after I searched for everything story wise, I was searching for collectibles as I'm going to find all these little figurines because they're so cool. Because, you know, yeah, no, I, I did that, too. 
again, I played longer than you. That's true. <laughs> so we probably, I actually think it, it's funny because we actually landed at almost the same place. I think if you'd have played another 15, 20 minutes, that cutscene that I sent you um, is literally the next scene. So I finished out the convenience store. That's a, effectively when you're talking or you're going to accuse, uh, I forget her name, uh, whatever. And oh, after God. that's done, Trissa? you go to this. Yeah. yeah, Tessa. Tessa. And and then it goes to the police department. So this is that's literally like the opening of another cutscene, and I stopped playing. So I just finished oh. out that level. But I, yeah, I, I like the collectibles. Those kind of games, it's all about the narrative, right? So I have fun going, and I'll click on a photo because you just don't know. Yeah. And most of the time, it's like, oh, look, it's a, it's a, whatever. There's like a, a fish or mascot thing, and they're like, oh, it's Kingfish. Remember that? And you're like, <laughs> oh, that didn't add any narrative. But you know what? I clicked on it. It's yeah. Funny. And that's, that's, yeah. I clicked on a lot of things, and then the only one that, I guess this kind of ties back into first impressions. It does start out kind of slow, like after the initial cutscene that really drags you into it. Mm-hmm. And then it gets rolling and it's it was I was having fun playing around. And I know it's a story driven game, but when I got that book of like goblin stories or whatever, and I mm-hmm. saw that there's like twelve different stories, I was like, I'm not reading all of these. Yeah, I didn't read that. And <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me <clears throat> No, yeah, I didn't as read soon all as I opened it. that book, I had to read every story and I was like, shit, dude. Nah. No, no so way. what I did was I opened it up and I was like, I'll give y'all the first one. And I went and I flipped through and I read the first one and recorded me reading the whole first one. It's like, <laughs> all right, that's kind of a cool story, whatever, short story thing. And like ten minutes later, I needed to read a different story. In order to unlock the lock to the mom's room or whatever. Uh-huh. And I was yeah. so mad. Because as soon as they mentioned the book, I was like, don't you fucking make me read another one of these stories. I already read <laughs> one. And they're like, yeah, read this one. The princess's party. I was like, God fucking damn it. You make me. <laughs> I, didn't know I already read one. I don't want to read it, another one. Did did it tell you to read the princess's party? Yeah. It told me to read the princess's I party. I somehow missed that. <laughs> Keep in mind, I played this at like two in the morning. So that puzzle took me a little bit longer than it should have. It probably took me like 10 to 12 minutes to figure out that stupid puzzle. Because I I was focused on the wrong story. Because I thought like it was like, oh, yeah, open up the Book of Goblins. And I opened the Book of Goblins. And I, for some reason, assumed the story that I opened up. Was the first, the like as it was the one, like oh, it's telling me to open it up, and then it took me a minute to register that there's like a tab, and you could see other other stories. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so the because the one I opened up was about goblins, and I was like, okay, well, there's a couple goblins here. <laughs> <laughs> the that was not the case, but uh, I invested like five minutes on the wrong story, and then I was like, well. By George, I'm not gonna force this thing open. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be beaten by this puzzle, right? So I. <laughs> That's how and I then I too. saw the picture. I saw the picture, and I was like, "Oh, these are all the characters. These are all the, the exact characters on the lock. This must be it." And then, and then a, a couple tries, like, because it's a little. Uh, it is a little tricky, right? Because that's what I thought too. I like. I read it. I just skimmed it, and I was like, "Oh well, the bear's got claws, right?" And like, <laughs> yeah, like the pelicans can see at night and then this yeah. one sees this one's good with money or whatever this one i don't know and i made the guess and i turned the key and she's like or immediately my coach's like yeah i'm gonna force the lock i was like no 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 i <laughs> no, no, I'm up. no yeah hold on give me give me a second <laughs> and i went like i had to read it again and be careful with it it's like okay yeah i got it and then i got it yeah i got i got the bear correct i was very sure about the bear i got bear and like, or something i went bear moose, moose muskrat <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> i had i, I had like the, the muskrat and, didn't do anything he must be really good with money <laughs> <laughs> i had the uh, the pelican and the moose swapped and i don't oh, know yeah. why i just had them swapped and I, I it took me like two additional tries to be like what the, the moose the moose is like organized so he must be good with the money and and then it was like something like the pelican likes to please so they would have them i don't remember but Hey, for pelicans some love swapped. to please, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, it was because they ate out of his gill. Yeah, or his like he got the food. He was the provider. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what would you think about but the thought, uh, music? Oh, no, go ahead. 
No, I thought he was uh, the... Now I don't remember. Now I'm all fucked up, but I got it them was, mixed up. It was the lamp, the sword, and the money bag. Yeah. yeah. So I just got the moose and the pelican swap, but I don't yeah. remember my reasons. Yeah. What'd you think about the like the story and the music? I thought it was... I thought the story... It started out really exciting. It got kind of slow, and then it had like a kick when they get into like the mom's room and they find the transgender book, and it was like, "Oh shit! All right, she wasn't." You know, oh, oh, so honestly, the whole time they're like, "I hate my mom. My mom was such an asshole. She's such a bad person." And it's like every single memory they had of her was like, "Yeah, I hated that time where she took me to the park to play. I hated that time where." She played with us and told us stories and made us hot chocolate. And then we told stories while she fell asleep with us. And it's like, wow, yeah, she sure sounded like a like a bad mom, I guess. <laughs> She's not very good to me. Um, well, I mean, you know what happens yeah. at the beginning. So you're like, okay, clearly there's something going on. But it, it, every time they had the memory and every time you'd read a note from her or see a memory and she's like, I need my little goblins. You're like, oh my god, that's that, what? That's you guys. <laughs> she loved <That's> me. <laughs> those kids. Yeah. She loved those kids. And uh, yeah, it was, it was really hard to. And even when it went to the store, where you had two options, where you could choose to kind of accuse Tessa of being aggressive or Marianne, the mom. I think it was Marianne, right? Yeah, yeah. You could you could choose which version. Uh, you wanted to go, and I was like, I'm gonna give Marianne the benefit of the doubt and I assume do. Tessa's the bitch. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I I was getting this vibe that the mom isn't truly, you know, See, it's like that. I guess that's where that we veil. I think that's where we split off because I gave the mom the benefit of the doubt. The two. That's what I'm saying. The two I gave the mom the benefit yeah. of the doubt. Oh yeah. So you said that the. Oh, and I said Tessa's Tessa, yeah, a bitch. Tessa's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did too. So we did the same thing because it's like. Am I going to go with the one where Tess was like, how about I bring up all the debt that you have? Or am I going to go with the one where it's Marianne like, please don't do this in front of my kids. I, yeah. I just, I just want to go home. Like, kids, just leave the groceries. It's okay. And it's like, uh, well, how about I go with the one where my mom's not an asshole? <laughs> it's like, um, and then like, so I, I, I do give a hard time to like the fairy ride thing. It was really atmospheric. I do love, I loved looking out over the water and it was like an actual ferry ride. Like eventually yeah. you were reaching, you were approaching the end of it. And then it was like, Hey, get in the car and just like fast forward the last 20 seconds. But you're looking out I, I at mean, the mountains I have a... and you got these cars, like, or you got the houses and there's like smoke coming out of them and the water looks moderately realistic. And the music was like just atmospheric music. I thought it was pretty good. I, I kind of got little, um, like seeing all the scenes in Alaska kind of made me miss Alaska. I was like, man, I oh, I need to go back there. Like it's so pretty. Dude, there. it made me want to go to Alaska. And then they were talking about fishing. I was like, dude, I fucking love to just go to Alaska for a week and fish and just hang out with my boys. Right? It'd be so cool. And dude, there's a, there's a lot of like small towns in Alaska, and that's kind of I guess the different towns they're at, where like everyone knows each other. And it's kind of cool. It's a cool little vibe that I, I feel like you don't get um, in, like, the mainland United States, you know? But, like, Alaska is, like, I don't know, pretty isolated. It's it's so pretty. And, uh, yeah, that so the whole, even the ferry ride, it, it, it was boring. But I'm just sitting there thinking, like, yeah, I don't want to go to Alaska. It just made me want to go <laughs> just, skiing. Because, like, you looked out over skiing. the ferry. Yeah, because there was the ski, or not the ski lift, but the... One of the pod lifts where they lift like the thing where you can like stand in. There was one that was crossing over in the mountains on one side. And I was like, that looks so cool. That makes me want to go skiing so bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I, there was a, a scene where like a sp freaking whale pops out. Oh, it was dude, like a yeah. sperm whale or something. <laughs> yeah. and I, I was like, dude, so I've seen whales in Alaska. I've only seen the orca whales. The poor, or yeah, the orca whales, killer whales. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never seen a sperm whale, and also I thought sp it made the sperm whale seem small. Like I thought they were way bigger. It did kind of like, yeah, it was like, oh wow, that's a whale, and it was like that's kind of a tiny whale, but <laughs> I guess that just didn't translate over in the art of the game or whatever. I still, I just still thought it was a cool scene. I thought it was very atmospheric. Their conversation, uh, kind of 
sporadically throughout. Alexander was like, "Oh yeah, you're the you're the the trans boy." I don't want to talk to you anymore. I was like, well, I guess you're a dick. I, whatever. <laughs> I thought we were having a good conversation, but never mind. Oh, really? He didn't He didn't do that to me. Really? Like I he was like, "Oh, you're one of these kids?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "I didn't know they had a brother." It's like, "Well, yeah. they didn't." And he's like, "Oh. Well, I'll see you on shore <laughs> or I'll see you in town." It's like, "Okay, I guess <laughs> guess I'm done talking to you." <laughs> I, I seem to remember a little bit more than that, but it's been a couple of days since I played it. Do you run any? Uh, it was, it, oh, go ahead. go ahead. It was cool to see. I think the the character development. The, these games, I, I like the way they do them. They and the way they they do Life is Strange and stuff. They make you really interested in the characters, and it's a it's a pretty cool dynamic to see like twins, one who is gone like a very different path right being transgender and lives a very different life now um i don't know just kind of a cool dynamic <clears throat> that really. that was definitely something that i really liked with both life is strange one and two was they're kind of continuations of each other but not really story wise and then there was like before the storm which was also a continue mm -hmm. that was a continuation off of life is strange one but the, even then the abilities changed and like the the mystical powers of the universe kind of had their own thing right so tell and, me this because this is not a life is strange game but i was still expecting a superpower to show up oh it, yeah for sure that's <laughs> i knew it, i knew there was going to be something right and i thought what they chose for this one was actually really creative seeing as they were twins and right. they definitely played off of like they could have easily done the exact same set of abilities with Diego in Life is Strange 2 and his uh, his little brother. They could have definitely mm -hmm. done the exact same ability and it would have still been a really great game. But I love that they took it with twins and took it because they, they've always been trying to bring up like these hard hitting like bullying or suppression or you're a minority and no one likes you and like those set of things from the other games. And I love that they took the transgender approach for this one of the two twin sisters and the, but the one ended up wanting to be a guy um, and going through transition. I, th I think that's uh, another like hot topic. And I definitely seems like something they would take as a game, but the ability that they did, took, if was you really read cool the, did too. you read the war? I, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be about transgender uh, or like a transgender story. I read the until warning. I read the yeah, yeah. I read the warning, and I was like, oh, okay, this is definitely gonna be. I I wouldn't have known otherwise had I not read that warning. It would have hit me. It would have completely sideswiped me. But I I definitely think they did a really good job at portraying that side of it because he is so he's so comfortable and confident in who he is right to where like when the people that knew him as a kid or before his transition they're like oh well i just remember you as this sweet little girl blah 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 blah. it's like well i'm a man now and they're like yeah but i didn't expect you it's like i'm a man just like you and i was like okay <laughs> it's like it's, it's I'm cool because with uh with with identical twins or like they were born identical twins it I, I don't know. That's a cool dynamic because it's like looking in the mirror, in a in a way. You ever look in the mirror and see like, yourself as a chick, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I I I wish I had that ability. You're like twice a year, man. It happens. <laughs> uh, do you have any glitches or anything? Anything weird that really happened in yours? I really didn't have any problems with smooth. my playthrough. Yeah. I had the occasional audio clipping issue, and I couldn't tell if it was just my game or like hmm. my headphones or something like that i it wasn't it was noticeable enough every once in a while to where like halfway through a sentence they got halfway through a word and it like clipped out and then the next word started and i was like whatever but it wasn't anything i don't know if it was the game or not i didn't have that problem so yeah I don't know. so it might have just been my my run it's not it wasn't anything that really bugged me did you have any problems with the game i thought it was pretty good i definitely think i would go back and when I finished my two hours, I went to Viv, my girlfriend, for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, I went to her, and I was like, you're going to fucking love this game. <laughs> you're going to have so much fun with this game. Because she loves 
Loved Life is Strange 1 and 2 and Before the Storm. Loved the little side game that they had with Life is Strange 2. And she There's a Life is Strange 3, right? I uh-huh. I think that's... I don't think so. I think it's just no? 1 and 2. Yeah, there's, okay. there's Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Life is Strange 2, and then there's a mini game that they made into Life is Strange 2. Yeah, Captain Adventure Captain or Adventure, something. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh... But I told her, I was like, you're going to love this game. Because I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was really cool. And I'm definitely I'm definitely going to, at some point, go back. I don't know if I'm going to go back like tonight or tomorrow. But at some point, I'll definitely sit down and keep playing it. Well, it's funny because I played it a couple days ago. And I was waiting you know, to continue playing for this conversation. But that's definitely the kind of game that I, I don't know. I like getting in, in, absorbed in a narrative. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I'll probably... I still think that I like the Life is Strange 2, I think is my favorite, but who knows? That one's really I good. I love the ending for Life is Strange 2, and I I do I do kind of hope for a Life is Strange 3 at some point. I think it'd be cool because that whole universe is a really cool universe in its, in its own right. But I yeah. also, I wouldn't be surprised if Tell Me Why is universe is somehow tied together with the life is strange universe it definitely seems plausible to me because they're both just pretty well made i do like the the attention to detail a little bit more in this one because i don't remember there being collectibles in life is strange or any little like exterior like things to do other than just play through the story no there's collectibles in the in all of them actually it's like the only achievements in those games are finish the chapters and collectibles. Oh, okay. Um, I got all of them in the second one, and I really like those because uh, I think maybe that's no. I like the story the most in Life is Strange too. We'll we'll see how because that one was insane. Like the beginning, I don't want to spoil it, but the the beginning is insane, right? And then you're like on like oh yeah, the sure. story yeah, yeah. takes a huge shift. Whereas this one, at least for the time being, is shocking and intriguing, but it's a kind of a slower roll. The the Life is Strange Two is like a hard hitting uh, prologue, right? It's oh yeah. It's like dang. Um, but what was cool about the collectibles is you could actually, when you collected them, you could put them on your backpack. You could decorate your backpack. Oh, that's with cool. Them. I did like. Yeah. Did you ever go to your collectibles page in Tell Me Why? Did you go look at them? Mm-mm. So when you get to your collectibles page, you'll definitely you have to go back and check it out. But if you go to your collectibles, and I showed it in mine, if you hit Q, it actually plays a little narrative associated with each. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good uh, Like the dark knight or dark hunter or whatever. And it was like, he'll stop at nothing. And once he finds you... Once he he's on your track, there's no getting away. And they had like little narratives of them as kids reading it off, which is pretty cool. So I'm 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 just remembering something funny that I did in this in the game. Uh, whenever you got to the house, did you just try to open the front door? <laughs> I walked up to the front door and I was like, "It's gonna be locked." And so I immediately went okay. to the window. I got halfway to the window and she's like. Uh, civilized people use the door. I was like, "All right, bitch," and I walked over, and the door was locked. I was like, yeah. "Great, guess we're going through the window." I went over to the window, and she's like, "Uh, you think we're gonna break into our own house?" I was like, "I fucking hate you so much right now." I was I, so um, mad. So I, I, I went so far away. I and I didn't even try the front door. I didn't even try the window. What I did was like, "All right, I'm going to the shed." <laughs> I like ran to the shed. And I I saw the screwdriver, which you would eventually need, I assumed. And I saw the 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 goblins or whatever troll things, the little statues. Yeah. And I was like, oh, those must be important. And I went to the back door and they're like, you know, normally normal people try the front door or whatever. And then <laughs> I, I I literally went everywhere. everywhere. And then as soon as I tried and failed the front door the alternate path like so it was like it forced had, me to yeah, do that even though i was already there i discovered every single thing leading up to it and i wasted all this time because i still had to go to the front door just to kind of 
make that dialogue or cutscene happen. I was like, dang it. I mean, I went down to the boathouse at one point, and I get down to the boathouse, I'm like, I'm going to see if there's a boat in this water. And I, like, took two steps out onto the dock, and they're like, uh, do you really want to be going out on that thing? And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. I was like, no, fuck you. I want to go out on the dock. Oh, I yeah. turned around and went back. <laughs> yeah, I did it, too. Did I did it, too. Thing. She's like, are you sure you want to go out on the fucking dock? Like, are you, are, <laughs> you know what? I... <laughs> I'm so mad at you. I hate you so much, but all right. Yeah, I, I think I did it three times because I was giggling about it. <laughs> so mad. I was like, no, you're right. And then turn around. <laughs> Juker. Oh, you know what? You're right. And then like, psych. And then go back. <laughs> psych. So, so uh, if you had to sell this game to someone, how how would you sell it? Would you sell it to someone? If you like Life is Strange, definitely play Tell Me Why. If you like narrative, story driven, actually, even if you like those telltale games like Walking Dead, I would still give this a shot. It's it's fun. It's intriguing. It's absorbing. It's fun. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, uh, I if you're looking for something actiony, probably not. Probably not. At least not at this point. Not two hours into it. Um This is a great quarantine game <laughs> because oh, yeah. it's slow. It's, you know. It's like it's like reading a book or watching a movie, except you can be fully immersed. So I enjoy it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I agree completely. It was it was cool. It was different than what I expected it to be for sure. And even though maybe the first twenty minutes wasn't the most exciting twenty minutes, it was a little it was a little more story driven in the first twenty minutes with me knowing anything about the characters really for me to be i was kind of bored but after that it got good and it was it was good uh, yeah from there I, I i agree i think it took before they got to the house i was probably less interested in them and then uh when it i guess when it tied the house and the mom tied all, all together for me so then i was like okay i'm i'm in it now like i i'm hooked now yeah for sure so, what would you rate it to to kind of tie it up here? Man, I think eight out of ten. I like eight it. out of ten. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I could agree with an eight out of ten. It was, I it's it wasn't the most mind blowing game that I've ever played in the world. It's at the end of the day, it is a very narrative driven. You just kind of sit there and listen for a lot of it, or like walk around for a lot of it. But it was for someone that who said, likes to get invested uh, in a story. It was really good. That said. Those kind of games, and this is really important. We only played two hours of it. Exactly. Those kind of games, like uh, Life is Strange Two, mm-hmm. and actually Life is Strange One. Actually, Life is Strange One more so is the game sticks with you more the further you go along, and then whenever you see the ending, the ending might be so mind blowing, and you want to like go back. So it could be like greater, right? The first two hours is not an indication of because. A story-driven game, like, you won't know until it ends how much you love it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I I definitely think I'm going to go back and play it some more. I had a good time for for my two hours. I, I definitely enjoyed it, and I really... I, I'm struggling to come up with things that I didn't like with it, other than the fact that... I, I mean, it's not even that I didn't like that it was a narrative game. It's just that it was a narrative game, and you have to be in that kind of... You know, that kind of mindset before you really get involved with one of those games. You have to be committed to putting in two, three, four hours for a chapter to really enjoy it. Uh, yep, I agree. So, yeah, I, I liked it. I'll play it more. Um, eight out of ten sounds sounds fair to me. All right, that's the worst gamer's <laughs> rating. Eight out of ten for the first two hours. Yep, eight out of ten, two hours in. We'll let you know if we ever change it in the in the comments down below uh if you guys played it and you guys have uh have different thoughts about it please let us know in the comments down below if you're gonna give the game a shot let us know in the comments down below um i definitely think you guys should at least give it a shot if you liked life is strange or story driven style games uh definitely check it out so thanks for watching guys i appreciate y'all thanks uh let us know what you thought of this new kind of format that we're trying here in the comments down below and leave a like if you like it if you enjoy it a lot subscribe Uh, and uh if you guys have suggestions for games you'd like us to try to give a review like this on let us know
Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Later.